Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this morning's card book haul video. It is another tiddler, but I did do filler bag today. It's the first filler bag that I've done in a few weeks. I just haven't been bothering. There hasn't been anything inspiring in Steve's filler bag stuff. So for those of you who don't know what I'm on about, Steve is the car boot guy who gets his stock from um, a range of charity shops. That He's the guy who, when the charity shops take it off the shelves and clear it out of the back, he comes and takes it, brings it to the car boot cell. And he hadn't really had an injection of stock over the last few weeks. I don't know why, you know, maybe the charity shots are waiting to have a big clear out for Christmas, I don't know. Anyway, he has some new stock today, so I thought I would put my back into it, literally, and, and have a rummage. And I've got a bag full of stuff. It's a very varied bag again. So, filler bag is three pounds. Three pounds. Filler bag is three pounds. Count them. One, two, three, and the others. Filler bag is three pounds. And the first thing I got in today's filler bag is this, and I think it's... I think it's a plush version of Sophie Loves Giraffe. I realise that all giraffes look similar, don't they? But I didn't know there was a plush version of Sophie Loves Giraffe, but I think this might be her. I'm going to have a quick look. Now, it's definitely a plush version of Sophie Loves Giraffe, and they sell for between... Somebody's got one listed at 11. Let's have a look at actual solds. Let's have a look at solds rather than for sales. There are none showing... In so there's an awful lot of Funko Pops coming out, which is really weird, isn't it? I put into the search plush Sophie Giraffe and it's showing me Darth Vader Star Wars Funko Pops. What what does the eBay search engine actually do there? Does it just lose its mind briefly? There's one sold, $6.99. Uh there's plenty of the original rubber ones. So Sophie Le Giraffe, if you're not sure, was uh, she was originally a teething toy and then uh, they brought out a whole range because she uh, really took off. So Either way, this was in filler bag, remember, so I'll work out, I'll, I'll, I'll make a note of how many items are in the filler bag and we'll work out how much they cost me. Just like the old days, if you've been here a while, this is how we used to do it, we'll work out how much it cost me per item. One, something for the dogs, there are two dog-sized footballs in there, this one is Molly size, this one a little bit more Bella size. Bella not here at the moment, she's gone off downstairs in a sulk because I wouldn't play with her. Molly's asleep in her bed, but yeah, a couple of dog footballs that cost... Well, I'll put them down for the purposes of working out how much each thing in the bag cost. But definitely cheaper, because the dogs will destroy them. Definitely cheaper to buy them this way than to go to the shops. Boink. Molly's got hers. Bella's out in the hallway. Okay, not sure who this guy is. He looks to be a reindeer, but somebody has removed his tag. And because I was doing filler bag, in he went. And this is where Google image search will come in use. And I can take a picture and it will find out who he is for me, hopefully, although it's just finding an awful lot of other plushes at the moment. There he is. Found him on Pick Click. Cute Rudolph red-nosed reindeer toy. That's a different... Weirdly, honestly, I, I don't know what's going on with search engines at the moment, but you click on that and it shows you something different. Maybe just a generic reindeer... Rudolph reindeer toy from nowhere in particular, but again it went into fill a bag. So we're up to four items. I will call these one item because I will list them as one listing. They are Absorb Bin Replacement Fat Trappers. And why did I put these in? Not because I thought oh, they look valuable. I put them in because they are made by Lakeland Limited. And they are made specifically for the Lakeland Absorb Bin, which is a way of disposing of waste oil and fat when you're cooking. And the fact that they're made specifically for the absorbed bin probably means that you can only get them in Lakeland and probably means that they're annoyingly expensive if you've already bought the absorbed bin. So I thought I would throw those in and find out if indeed they are worth anything. So I'll put them down as one item. It's a discontinued product as well, which does mean that if somebody's got one, they probably can't get the refills anymore. So that's probably useful as well. Such an odd thing. It's like a little casserole dish that you pour your fat into. And then this thing sits inside it and just traps the fat and then you can put the fat in the bin. I don't know why anybody would feel that they needed a specific item for that rather than just pouring it into an old tin can or whatever. But people obviously do. The small refills are 3 99 You can still get the refills on Lakeland and they're 3 99 a pack. So although one of these packs is open, it is, they are still, still in there. It's a pack of three and they're all still in there. So... That would have cost £12 to buy from Lakeland, which means I can probably sell it online for people who can't get to a Lakeland store or whatever and make 
something on it. So this is a Ridley's board game and it's called Link It. And it says, beat your friend to the link. So if you connect the clues in this mind-bending trivia game. And again, no idea if it's worth anything, but quite often I just chuck stuff in when it's filler bag. It looks like one of those Christmas present games that you only ever play once, doesn't it? Somebody sold one for a pound. This is not where I make my millions. This is not, this is not the find of the week. But we might enjoy playing it, you never know. We might enjoy playing it. That goes down as one item, have I? No, there we go, one item there. A pair of Disneyland Minnie Mouse ears. That's another item. I've already got some of those this list, so that'll be an easy wee list. A Little Dutch made by Tiamo pram book. And it looked like one of these, it looked to me, I've never heard of the brand, but it looked like one of those expensive baby toys that posh people buy because they think they're better than the brightly coloured ones. You know what I mean? There we go. So for example, the Little Dutch Baby Activity Playmates, somebody sold one of those at £26. The Little Dutch Little Goose Green Neutral Activity Spiral. I, I'm fairly sure, didn't we Didn't we all decide at some point that um, that children were more stimulated by bright colours? But what do I know? I haven't got any small children anymore. So the Little Dutch Soft Activity Book Ocean theme has sold for £3.20. It looks very similar to this. There we go, Little Touch Soft Pink Cord Sensory Activity Book Ocean Theme VG. So that's the pink version of this. It's exactly the same part from its pink. £5.49 that's gone for pre-owned. So yeah, these are higher-end baby toys that cost you a bit more money because you believe that grey is better. Sorry, to anyone out there who has these toys and does believe that grey is better, you do you. This is a uh, jelly cat. It was very nice to find a couple of jelly cat bits in, in filler bag. That doesn't happen very often. So I have this jelly cat. He's got hard, he's got hard inside. So that implies that something... It's weird, I can feel a hard square inside him like a battery pack. And yet I cannot see any push or pull buttons that would imply what he does. He's got, um, I wonder if somebody cut something off him. I wonder if he had a string or something that you pulled at some point. Because he's got, his bear is attached. Ah, uh, he is musical. You pull his bear, you pull his bear and he plays a tune as his bear winds back up. Somebody has sold one of these, um, they'd had, had it on at 14 95 and they took a best offer, so it doesn't tell me how much it went for. Somebody else has sold one 14 99 Definitely worth putting in filler bag. So we're up to nine items so far. This is Le Grand Famille by Moulin Roti and it is a puppet. Bunny Rabbit puppet. It used to do really, really well with the Moulin Roti toys. And I think maybe they've lost their popularity. Perhaps it's because they're not grey. But even so, in she goes. Now we're up to ten items. We did do a little bit of scraping, mine. When we get to the bottom of the bag, it's a bit like, oh, you're scraping there. This is a Zogs Disney Pixar Finding Dory toy. And I don't know, I don't know the characters from Finding Dory, but I chucked him anyway. Because, you know, at this point I was just going, ah, oh, fill the bag up. I have an angel rubber duck. I have another jelly cat. This is the jelly cat little fox. Now, I sold a tiny jelly cat the other week for silly money, really. If this is the small bashful fox cub, which it might be. No, his front's different. His front is different to the small bashful fox cub. It could be the bashful fox retired design, in which case he'll go for a little bit more. It could be Peanut Fox. He looks like Peanut, Peanut Fox, but smaller. If he's Peanut Fox, somebody sell one for £85. No, he doesn't look quite right for Peanut Fox either. I will find out who he is. I will. You can go on the Jelly Cat website. I've said this a million times before. You can go on the Jelly Cat website and you can search all the retired designs and find out who you've got in your hand. And I will find out who he is. I don't think he's going to be the £85 one, so no. What do you think? He says he's quite happy to be the £85 one. Fair enough. I think that's you there. £77. This is Jelly Cat Tiny Peanut Fox Orange Soft Toy Plump. Six inches. Are you six inches? I'm sorry, I don't know six inches. I've been lied to by men all my life. You are six inches. £77 somebody sold one of these for. <laughs> 
there we go. This is why we do fill a bag and chuck stuff in, eh? There's another one there went for 120, but I think that's the next size up. There we go. There's today's find. Who expected that? Not me. And I know I know jelly cats are worth picking up, but I didn't expect that. I got two of these little joy. These are apparently the lemon wedge ice tray. There we go. I should have known they were ice cube trays. They are the joy lemon wedge ice cube tray. They cost $7.99 for one when you buy them new. So there we go. That's what they are. I will put them down as two items because although they'll put them on one listing, they'll be a multi quantity of two. So they will be two listings when I go to sell them. And then the last item in the bag is Uno Pocket Geox. And again, I have no idea if it's worth having. No idea whatsoever. Don't even, I mean, I haven't played Uno for years. Don't know if all the pieces are there. Somebody sold one for six pounds. Has that got, a, yeah, I've got the instructions. There you go, someone sold one for six pounds. So that means a total of 16 items. I paid three pounds. So I paid 19 pence per item. That's including the two balls that were for the dogs. 19p per item. If the jelly cat peanut brings about £77, <laughs> then we're good, aren't we? We're really, really good with that. Okay, the rest of today's haul is very small. So I paid 25p for a nice and easy hair dye. I don't want the hair dye, I only want the conditioner. I paid £2 for these really nice, actually, and completely unworn, as you can see. These are from two at Sainsbury's. They are an animal print ballet flat but they're really, really nice quality. They've got um, a padded padded heel here. They've got a, a comfort sole. They're a size eight, but they're quite narrow. And I've got a wide flat foot now where I walked around carrying all this weight all these years. My feet are like big plates now. So yeah, I can get that on, but I would not be able to walk in it because it's um, too narrow across the toes for me. But aren't they lovely? I thought they were really, really nice. Lovely shoes. So they were £2. I did try that on with socks on, by the way, if anybody's wondering, which also probably didn't help when they're feeling too tight. I paid £2, really against my better judgement for these. I don't know why I did this, because I've had these before. They don't really sell anymore. This is the Lurpak 2 Limited Edition Douglas Egg Cups. The only reason I got them is because they're still in their box. Originally, they'd have had butter in there as well. But obviously the butter's long gone but yeah they're still in the box and I just thought I'll give them a go despite the fact that I've never done very well on them in the past I'll give them a go so they were two quid then I paid one pound for Johnson's Brothers born to shop mug and it says age is just a number and mine is unlisted and it's a mug and coaster set and I have cut down on buying mugs and things but as it was boxed I thought we'd pay a quid for that one and my filler bag from Steve was three pound as I said and I paid Steve altogether actually paid Sarah altogether seven pound and the other four pound was a nice big Nigella canister these always used to sell really really well I don't know if they're still the value they used to be but they used to sell beautifully well this is the duck egg blue I had a whole duck egg blue haul at one point from a lady on Facebook so yeah two quid for that and the other two quid was for five of these and they are they are the Anchor Hocking Fire King, and this is the Peach Luster. And the prices for these mugs are all over the place. I mean, there's one listed that somebody sold one for £20, and then there's another listing where somebody sold one for £2. So they'll go on as a multiple listing, but I'll sell them singly in the hopes that people want one or two to complete a set. And I really don't know what to expect back from them, but certainly more than two quid. I paid 40 pence each, didn't I? If I got five for £2, 40 pence each. And then the last item for today, is a stack of decorative plates. One of the things I keep telling myself I will not sell anymore because it's a bugger to pack and post is decorative plates, but they were Flower Fairy. I've sold the Flower Fairy ones before. It took me a lot. They, they sell very, very slowly, don't get me wrong. They don't fly out the door, so I just fall off the chair. They don't fly out the door, they sell really slowly, but I've sold them before and I know they're worth more than seven pound for nine. So she had them on a pound each, and then she said she'd take seven pound for the nut for the whole set of nine. It's not a whole set. I think there would have been, I think there would have been twelve originally in the set. These are by Gresham, and they're the nineteen ninety four ones. So yeah, I've got the strawberry fairy, the laburnum fairy, the white bryony fairy, and then tansy. Winter Jasmine, this is a lovely one. Cilia, or Scylla? Scylla, I think, rather than Cilia. 
pansy, double daisy and blackberry and like I said seven pounds and nine so I do think they're worth buying even if they do sell very slowly. That's it. That is the haul and all of the haul. And as I always say at this point, if I remember, if you've seen anything that floats your boat, there is an email address in the description box below all of my videos. And you can drop me a line and we can sort you out with whatever it is that's taken your fancy. That's it. That's it for me for this week. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.